So we can kind of up the ante a little bit. Well, hello there, welcome along. My name is Morna Fiskin and I'm a science communicator. And today on Head Squeeze, we're going to be answering the question, how can I spin water above my head and not spill a drop? Well, we know that gravity exists on Earth because everything is pulled down by that force of gravity. For example, me. So if I jump up, gravity pulls me back down to Earth. So how am I going to spin this beaker of water above my head? and not allow any of it to fall out. Well, for this, we're going to look at some laws of motion. Now, Sir Isaac Newton came up with three laws of motion that are most commonly applied to objects moving in a straight line. But they can be applied to objects that spin. We know this because we live on one. So for this, I'm going to use some very simple props here. I've got a frisbee, some cat's cradle rope, and a small beaker of water. Now in my frisbee, I have drilled three small holes at equal distance from each other. Now each piece of your rope should be about a metre in length and you're going to thread these through the holes. So we've got one, second one, two, final one. So it's about a three millimetre or a maximum of four millimetre drill bit that you're going to need to drill through the plastic of the frisbee. Now what you need to do is make sure that you're going to tie a knot of equal distance between the three lengths of rope. Because otherwise things could get a little bit messy if you didn't do that. So Newton's first law of motion states that an object will not move unless acted upon by a force. Once moving, that object will continue to move in a straight line forevermore unless it's acted upon by another force. Now, we can apply this law to my spinning frisbee with the beaker of water on top of it. But first things first, we're just going to make sure that my frisbee spins in a nice circle. So I'm just going to put my beaker of water on the ground for the moment. Now, first things first, we're just going to spin my frisbee. A nice circle round like that. One of Newton's other laws is coming into play here. This is Newton's third law, which states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So as fast as I'm pushing that frisbee away from me, it's being pulled back towards me by the rope. Now you can do this at home if you want. If you're sitting on a chair, put your hands down on either side of your chair and push down. What you should find is that you come up. It's an equal and opposite reaction. Same idea here. What's the reason why it's not flying off the end is because it's attached by the ropes. And the only reason why it's going in a circle is because of the way that I'm spinning it. So how on earth am I gonna spin that water above my head and not spill a drop? Well, let's have a little look. So let's get my beaker of water now and pop it on top. Now the beaker of water is not attached in any way to the Frisbee bar it resting on top. So Newton's first law here is going to come into effect and that states that the water must continually move along a tangent to the circle. So let's spin this now. There we go. So as you can see, nobody got wet in the studio. There's no shower happening. Now this is Newton's first law and that water is continually moving along that tangent to the circle like I said and this force is called centripetal force. This is commonly mistaken as centrifugal force. Centrifugal force is a made-up force though, it doesn't actually exist. So to bearing that in mind we can kind of up the stakes a little bit so for this I'm just gonna tie my knot a little bit tighter and because the force, the centripetal force being applied here is keeping the beaker of water on the frisbee and the centripetal force is acting along that rope. So we can kind of up the ante a little bit. We can get that beaker around my head and stop like that. And there you go. Newton's three laws of motion, two of them especially, in action and nobody got wet, which is pretty good.
So this is even an experiment that anybody can do and to prove this I'm going to invite the floor manager Kiefer on to have a little go himself. So here he comes. Good luck. I'll need it. <laughs> Believe in the law. Woo! There he goes. So look at that. Newton's first law in motion there. He's actually going quite fast with it and he's landed it. He's done it perfectly. Beautiful. <laughs> well done, Kiefer. Fantastic.